Hey guys, welcome to MNMMPT Nati YouTube channel. Today I want to discuss how will I practice my retail lecture question? What should be my approach towards retail lecture when I'm practicing? So the basic video about retail lecture is already out there on our channel. You can watch that. Um, you know, the note taking video is there. There is template available for free on the, I mean, there would be a link in the description and then you can click on that link for the a retail lecture video the basic video you can get the template as well all that is fine we can get the basics we can understand the note taking strategy but i want to do one question and show it to you that we don't need to stress about retail lecture we don't need to uh, you know make a big thing about it if we just practice it in the very basic way and do it regularly on everyday basis you can easily master this topic and you can get a very good listening and a speaking score so let's see what should be my approach just observe me doing one question so if you have watched our previous videos on retail lecture you will exactly know what i'm doing if not you can watch it after this video whenever you have time first thing i'll make sure i'm ready for note taking a couple of phrases phrases if they make sense that's good if they don't make sense that's not going to matter so i'm not going to be fussy about taking important phrase very good phrase no whatever is available in the audio and if i understand that i will write it and when i'm writing a phrase while writing i don't pay attention to the audio i finish my writing once i finish my writing that's when i pay back to, I mean, I pay attention to the audio and whatever is catchable, I'll just simply put it in my notes. OK, so that is like one after the other approach and not two things at the same time approach. All right, let's get started. Cell division is an intricate chemical dance that's part individual, part community driven. And in a neighborhood of 100 trillion cells, sometimes things go wrong. Maybe an individual cell's set of instructions or DNA gets a typo, what we call a mutation. Most of the time, the cell senses mistakes and shuts itself down, or the system detects a troublemaker and eliminates it. But enough mutations can bypass these fail-safes, driving the cell to divide recklessly. That one rogue cell becomes two, then four, then eight. At every stage, the incorrect instructions are passed along to the cell's offspring. Weeks, months, or years after that one rogue cell transformed, you might see your doctor about a lump in your breast. Difficulty going to the bathroom could reveal a problem in your intestine, prostate, or bladder. Or a routine blood test might count too many white cells or elevated liver enzymes. Your doctor delivers the bad news. It's cancer. Now I've written notes, but I still have a few seconds. Either I, if I feel I haven't taken enough notes, I can maybe, sorry for that noise. So uh, if I haven't taken enough notes, I can maybe write down one or two extra phrases which come to my mind, which, you know, the speaker spoke at the end. Or if I feel I've taken enough notes, like in this case, the notes are absolutely enough. Then at that point, what I can do is I can just quickly read my phrases when I have those, you know, free few seconds. So you can just quickly go through your notes so that when you actually speak your uh, lecture, you can understand your handwriting. So this is what I'll do cell division part individual in a neighborhood set of instruction most of the time and eliminates it divide the cell then four then eight at every stage now let's say there is something that you are not able to understand because of your handwriting immediately cancel it so that you don't attempt to speak it when you actually start your retail lecture okay so let's say over here i'm not able to understand this word i know it is written as weak but let's say i don't understand it so years or months difficulty going to the bathroom might count too many blood cells now most of my phrases if you have a look they don't make any sense which is absolutely fine because if my phrases they do not make any sense in retail lecture i am not going to suffer if it was summarized spoken text i would not have done this i would have taken meaningful phrases or sentences but in retail lecture focus on taking as many phrases as you can, 9, 10 should be the minimum. They can be two words, they can be three words, more than three words, but it cannot be one word. One word is not a phrase, it's a keyword. So minimum two, three and more is fine, okay? Now, a lot of students, they focus a lot on, you know, template. Okay, my template is great, this template is great. Can I get a template which will give me 90 out of 90? No, understand the logic behind a template. 
a template is there to support you the template is not the pillar where you can rely on for getting a good score scores you will get on the basis of the content the way you speak not because your template is fantastic and then everything else is being ignored that's not going to help you so what i will do is let's say i have the easiest template okay J let me just speak the retail lecture for you in this lecture, the speaker speaks about cell division, part individual in a neighborhood. The speaker also mentions about set of instructions most of the time and eliminates it. The speaker highlights that divide the cell, then four, then eight, and at every stage is very important. The speaker concluded by mentioning that years or months, difficulty to go to the bathroom, might count too many blood cells were also important. Now, what is important in speaking a retail lecture? Confidence, fluency, no hesitation, clear pronunciation, clarity in speaking, and then obviously the content has to be from the audio. It cannot be your own generated content. How will this be possible if I practice a lot of retail lectures on a regular basis? So first things first, when you start doing retail lecture, your primary focus has to be mastering the art of taking notes. It might take you two, three, four, five days. Practice that first. If your notes are not good, there is no way that you can speak in a good way. So first thing you need to master is note taking. Once you feel that, okay, now I'm able to take 9, 10, 12 phrases easily, then switch on to taking notes and then speaking as well. Take it one step at a time and you will be fine. I hope you got that flow of how can you practice a retail lecture for a perfect score, for a perfect listening and speaking score. Practice using this way and you'll be fine. With that, I'll see you next time in the next video. Bye for now.